Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lacey and this is my art channel. Today we're doing another create this book video. This is the fifth video in the series so far so if you haven't checked out the ones before it, I will link them in the i cards above. So far we've been doing all of the create this book prompts in order but today the next prompt is create a recorded conversation. Sit in a room with other people write down everything you hear. I actually decided to skip this prompt for now and come back to it at another time because I knew I wasn't going to be in a place where others were talking. No worries, I will come back to it, but just not in this video. Our next prompt says, create an array of media. Draw one object over and over using a different medium each time. One drawing with marker, one with pen, one with pencil, etc. Note, if you are feeling extra adventurous, try using unconventional media like ketchup, chocolate, mud, or anything else you can think of. This prompt says to create one object over and over. I don't know how, but I actually misunderstood the prompt. Somehow I thought they were saying draw something with overlapping pictures. You know, I'm not really sure how I misunderstood it, but I actually chose two different subjects. I chose fruit and teddy bears. I did use quite a lot of different mediums and to be honest this prompt took me so long to get through. This prompt took me longer than the other two put together so maybe that's kind of a judgment of time but I really felt like just this prompt could have been its own video but I did end up doing two other prompts in this video so that's kind of a reason why it took me so long to put this video out along with like just some personal things that came up but I am glad that it's finally out and I'll be able to focus on doing something new now <laughs> but anyway I'm not going to talk a whole lot through the prompt I'm mostly just going to explain what I did at the beginning of the prompt and then we're going to listen to some music. I will say that it'll be a little bit of a spoiler because my words won't match with what I'm doing. So if you don't want to hear like a spoiler, you could just mute me through those parts. So for the first prompt, I didn't get too, too creative and add food or mud, mostly because I was afraid of this book getting like nasty, <laughs> but I did use as many mediums as I could. So I started out sketching teddy bears and fruit and using Ohuhu markers and Sharpies to color them in. And after that, I used a Bic fineliner to ink them. I normally ink first and then color, but I was afraid of the ink expanding and then like ruining my inking line, which does happen from time to time. So I did it after. I also used a Signo Uniball white gel pen to add highlights. And then when I was done coloring them, I used acrylic paint to paint the background. And then I used Prisma coloring pencils to shade the objects. I cut out little like cutie fruities and glue them in with a glue stick for a more mixed media look and then at the end I just added like a whole layer of Mod Podge sparkle. The Mod Podge helped seal everything so those fruit cutouts wouldn't lift up and it also helped the color pencil from smudging as well as like covering everything in a layer of glitter which I thought added a really fun effect. I actually really enjoyed creating this mixed media spread and I wouldn't mind doing it again, to be honest. Maybe sometime in the future. Tell you what I want. No, nope. you were hot. Met you in the summer. I never fell in love. It was the weather that made it feel so good. By the fall, you fell and then I flew away. And I only wish that I had more to say. Nothing you can do about a baby. It's too late. I'm gone. Nothing you can do to make me change my mind. Come on. Come on. Nothing you can do about a baby. 
So why am I coming over? I keep promising myself this is the last time. Our next prompt is create folds. Fold this page any way you want. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of this prompt. I felt like I had no ideas. I wanted to do maybe like an origami theme, but because I wasn't sure, I actually looked on Pinterest and then I saw that everyone who had posted their art from this prompt did an origami theme. I don't know if that's maybe what Mariah Elizabeth did. I may have watched it, but I can't remember. That might be where I got the idea as well. I'm not sure, but I didn't want to do the same theme. So I guess that's what I get for looking for inspiration but one thing I did want to incorporate was actually folding this paper so I decided to like fold one side up to kind of create a pocket. If you've ever watched Mariah Elizabeth's videos where she used to use Wreck This Journal or if you've owned a Wreck This Journal you may know that there are a lot of prompts in which you had to take some of the pages out and do things with them. So I actually haven't read every prompt in this book but I thought a pocket may come in handy eventually if Mariah Elizabeth chose to create similar prompts. If not, maybe I'll just put something random in this pocket one day. <laughs> not sure, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, after I created the pocket, I still wanted to glue in another piece of paper behind it. So that way the next prompt would have like a whole canvas. Otherwise, you know, half the page would be gone. So I glued that in and then I also glued in a piece of paper adjacent to the pocket because of the bleed through from the last prompt. After I did that, I went ahead and drew a design on on and around the pocket. I decided that on the left side and above the pocket, I would draw a sky during daylight and on and below the pocket would be a sky during the night. And then on a separate piece of paper, I drew little paper airplanes because you would have to fold paper to make paper airplanes. And then I glued those in the sky. So for our last prompt, it says create letters. Fill this page with letters. Use them for aesthetic value rather than writing words. I assume that this prompt meant letters as in the alphabet, but I also saw this as an opportunity to see it as in like a pun, as in letters that you would send to someone in the mail because you would also use those letters for writing words. So first I sketched in some envelopes and letters and then after I colored them, I just thought there was too much white space because I wanted the envelopes to be white and the background was white. So I went ahead and added letters as in like the alphabet as well. I really felt that it made it super cute. I didn't want to have to deal with any bleed through for this one. So I did color the 
women with mild liners instead of the ohuhus. Overall, I did enjoy how all of these prompts came out. If you've done any of these prompts or any others that you want to share with me, feel free to link them in the comments below or click on my link tree in the description. That will lead you to all of my social media links. If you've made it this far, put a letter or envelope emoji in the comments. I do appreciate all of you for your continued love and support. It means so much to me. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video and I hope it doesn't take me a month to get the video out. So sorry about that, but I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.